Hello, YouTubers. This is Romeo 2 Delta Mike Delta. Let's make a visual comparison of six Chinese handheld transceivers. This video is focused on radio looks, radio usability, side-by-side -side comparison of screens, keypads, and radio dimensions. Today we will look at Baofan UV5R, Baofan BF UVB2, Baofan UV82HX, Quanshan TG UV2, Paxin PX888K, and Voxon KG UVD1P. Let's start with overview of manuals. This one is for Baofan UV5R. I bought it long ago and it's only in English. Very thin book. This one. Here we have another one for Baofan H2HX. Again, thin book, but quite a lot of information. Everything is in English. Looks good to me. Very useful. This one, the smallest one and the thinnest one, I presume, is for Baofan UVB2+. Very small font is used here, but anyway, it's all in English. This one is for Voxon KG UVD1P. Quite a th thick one, if not the thickest. And this one is totally in English. Everything here is in, in English or maybe Chinglish. But anyway, it's readable and useful and really, really good one. Another one is for Puxin. This is manual for Puxin VX8888K. Part of it is in English, part of it is in Chinese, I believe. Yes. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, but the first part is, is in Chinese, the second part is in English, this one. And the last manual we have here is Quanshan TG UV2+. This is again very sick one, probably the sickest. What do we have here? Two languages. First is English, yes, and the second part is in Chinese. Overview of the boxes. Here we have all the boxes. This one, the smallest one, is for Baofan 82HX. This one is for Baofan UV5R. Put it, let's put it here. This one is for Baofan UVB2+. This one is for Quanshan. Oh, come here, box. This one is for Quanshan. Quite a big one. This one is for Puxin. That's how it looks. All of them were delivered to me from AliExpress. So, Russian Post has modified them a little bit during delivery. And here we have the largest box is for Waxon. KG UVD1P. That's one. Let's now compare the radios, the screens and keypads. First of all, let's look at the Quan Shan. Here it is. Quan Shan. Let me switch it on. Yeah, switch on. So to my mind. The buttons here are very, very small, especially if compared to other radios. And the screen, though it has green backlight, the digits here are sort of very narrow. And if you tilt the radio, you cannot read them anymore, like this. You see? I can compare, for example, with boxing. Let's tilt the radios. Uh, and we see that 
at some point of time we cannot see uh, the screen sh and the screen of the Quanshan what it says, but we can see very good Puxian screen. If we put the same, yeah, you see. And the buttons, sorry for this. And the buttons are definitely larger and more convenient at Puxian radio. To my mind, especially we, if we compare, for example, with bell fan, that's the great difference, you see? The buttons here and the buttons here. Bell fan screens are always good. If we again try to try to tilt, uh, sorry for the sun. Yeah, we cannot see anymore what's in Quan Shan, but we can see perfectly what on the screen of the bell fan. You see, guys, and this, yeah. So, in terms of usability, to my mind, Quan Shan takes the last position. Let me put it there. What else? We have here Voxen, and we have here Voxen. Both radius quite feel in the hand quite good and the screens are good yeah. and the buttons are acceptable uh, Poxin has buttons without any click sound you see I'm click I'm pressing them but no click sound other radios excluding Voxen including Voxen have this click sound yeah you see Anyway, bow fan radios look to be the winner for me for, because of the buttons, yes, and just how they feel in the hand. By the way, they are the least expensive ones here. Voxun and Quan Shen are the top expensive, and Paxin is also top expensive, and here we have. Significantly, significantly less expensive radios, but the screen is much better and the keyboard The keys here are also very good All bow fan radios and Quan Shen uh, have only one knob here And it is used for adjusting volume level That's to switch the radio on and adjust volume level and only these two radios, Voxon and Paxin, they have this second knob. And this is used to navigate through the menu. Let me show it to you. You go to menu, you use the second knob, you just turn it and navigate through the menu. You see. That's a great convenience. I like this. Bow fan. This bow fan. 82HX is the only radio out of these six with two PTT buttons. One upper and one lower. It is used to transmit on particular V4. For example, Switch it on. We have here two VFOs, as usually they are A and B. So to transmit on this frequency, we need to press it, press it here. To transmit on this frequency, we need to press it here. All these radios have antenna on their left side. You see? All of them. Except Paxin. Paxin has it on the right side. Initially it was an oddity for me, something strange, but then I understood that it's very easy to use this radio with only one hand. Since I use my right hand, for example, for writing, you can switch this radio on, then take on it in one hand and you can adjust volume, you can adjust something else here, and with the other hand you can be writing something or doing something else. 
Quan Shen is the only radio without menu button. You see, all these radios have menu buttons, and Quan Shen is the only one without this button. Do you know why? That's because Quan Shen doesn't have any scrollable menu. It is supposed that radio users enter some combinations. That's a list of combinations in the manual. You need to press functional key, you need to press one or two or even two other keys to adjust some setting. And the table is on two pages. Not very convenient from my point of view, because you need to remember some combinations. So that's a big disadvantage. Absence of scrollable menu. Let me show you. You switch the radio on. Now, uh, for example, to adjust uh, what to adjust scrambling, switch it on on off. You cannot go to any scrollable menu. You need to press functional key and then press eight. You see now we have here scrambling on and off and using arrows up and down we can adjust it that's how it works with Quanshan all the radios except Paxin all of them have flashlight you see it's here sometimes it's quite a small lamp sometimes it's something larger this is for Voxon, and this bow fan has an extremely large one, like this. Let me switch it on. How to switch, switch on? Ah, it's not switched on itself. You need to switch on the radio first, then you can use the flashlight. That's bow fan. And Paxson is the only one without this flashlight. All six radios have backlight for their buttons. That's really a must-have for operating during their duck time. I created a rating of six Chinese radios. The rating is definitely very subjective. It represents my personal view of ease of use. And I also would like to stress that the radios were compared in terms of usability instead of some technical parameters like uh, receiving uh, quality, transmitting distance or modulation. So the rating is only about usability, about ease of use for me. Quan Shen receives place number 6 because of low view angles of its screen tiny buttons and absence of scrollable menu. Old Baofan UV5R is a good radio. I've been using it for years. For me it's a reference radio that I used to compare other radios to. I got used to this radio, I mean to Baofan UV5R, and I can manipulate it even with my eyes closed. But for now it receives only place number 5. Paxin gets place number 4. I like its uncommon antenna placement and second knob to navigate through menu. But I don't like the silent buttons. Baofan UVB2 Plus is at the third place. It's very very slim and its PPT button feels better than at any other radio out of all these six radios. Wuxen gets place number 2 because of the second knob and good feel in hand. Mm, the keyboard, keyboard is not the best, but uh, more or less convenient. Ofen 82HX gets the first place because of the largest buttons and just the way it feels in my hand. It has normal bow fan screen. And the screen is also good, no problems with any viewing angles. So
So it's absolute winner for me. But I stress once again, that was only visual comparison. That's not comparison of any technical parameters. For comparison of technical parameters, please see my other videos. Thank you for watching my video. If you find this video useful, please give it the thumbs up. 73s from Romeo to Delta Mike Delta.